In this video, I'll demonstrate how WebTela manages threshold violations. We will be using the same topology again, and by default, all traffic between branch 1 and branch 2 will flow across both the links that is, internet as well as MPLS. We will now create a policy to move traffic completely to the MPLS links once the latency on the internet link exceeds 50 milliseconds. Let's check the current traffic flows. So let's go to network. Let's go to H1. Go to troubleshooting and simulate flows. Let's add a destination of branch 2. And as you can see, the traffic is actually load balanced between both the links. So let me open another window to look at the interface traffic at, in real time. Just go to branch 1 and just open the interface tab as a separate window. So let me deselect all the non required interfaces. Let's click real time. And now we are actually monitoring only the G0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 interface, which are the internet and the MPLS link, respectively. So let's give it a few seconds to get the real time traffic flows of these interfaces. And as you can see, that we have some traffic on these interfaces, which are now load balanced across both the links, as seen from the colors. So let's go back to our uh, other window. And create a policy. Let's add a policy. Uh, here I'll create a new SLA class and call this class 50 milliseconds. Let's add just a latency parameter and leave that a parameters at zero. And there we have our SLA class. Now we don't have to add any topology information, so we'll skip. And here we'll add our policy. So let's call this link latency. Let's add our first row. And here we'll not match on any conditions, which by default will match all conditions. And here I'll put my SLA class. I'll match on the SLA class that I created. And here I'll say preferred colors is both internet as well as MPLS. So I want the traffic to go through both the links by default. And if there is a violation, uh, which will be there because of the introduction of delay in the internet link, I'll move the traffic to the MPLS link, which will be my back preferred link. Let's save it. So this is my policy. So we have my SLA class, and then by default going across business internet MPLS, and with the backup of early MPLS. Let's save. That's the policy. Next, and here we'll assemble the policy. So we'll just call it link latency policy. Now let's add our link latency policy that we created. So let's add our sites, which will be our branch one and branch two, and then on the service we can protect. Let's add it. Let's preview the policy quickly. So that's a policy. By default, traffic is flowing across both internet and MPLS and with a backup of MPLS when the threshold goes. So, next, let's activate a policy. Let's wait for the policy to get pushed. Policy has been pushed successfully now. Let's go back and check our network traffic flows. So let's go to H1 and then go to troubleshooting. So wait and put our destination as the branch two destinations. And you can see the traffic is still load balanced between MPLS and internet links. I look at our real-time traffic and you can see the traffic is being flowing across both the MPLS and internet links. So I have a WAN emulator which will add the delay. So I'm just going to add uh, uh, about 100 millisecond delay at both the links. So that's applied. Now let's quickly go back to our, our manage real-time traffic. 
and you will see uh, since the threshold uh, is for just 50 milliseconds and I've added a 200 millisecond delay you will find that the internet link where this delay was added uh, the traffic on this internet link reduces and all traffic now starts flowing across the MTLS links as you can see that the traffic on the internet link has just gone down and all traffic has now been flowing across MTLS links so let's quickly go back and check our traffic simulation flows as well so it's the same so let's just hit simulate and you'll find that the traffic is actually only from the MTLS links So this is our traffic. You can see that the internet traffic on the interlink has completely reduced. So let's go back and reduce our delay to say 20 milliseconds. So I'll add a 10, 10. Just apply. Let's go back to our vManage real-time dashboard, and you'll see that the now traffic immediately starts flowing through both the links again. And you can see. Now, since it is not violating any thresholds, the traffic now again gets load balanced across both the links. Let's hit our simulation again, and you can see that the traffic is actually being load balanced across both the links. Let's go to events, and there you can see that there was an SLA change. Those events are also recorded within vManage, that there was an approach change based on the threshold violations. Thus, you can see how easy it is to manage traffic violations within Viptila and ensure traffic always flows through the desired path. That's it for this demo, and thanks for watching.